Hello and welcome to Faith Farm. Just checking up on our tea situation here. It looks like it's a stormy day today. Our first one, I think. Let's see about the lumber. We've got a bit of both oak and beech lumber now. And wow, that's a lot of stuff. Bug juice, flutter dust, frog sweat, shell bits. Uh, sure. Let's get some more going. That would produce three flutter dust. But it did say it was a rare critter. So I I don't know if we want to. Probably not, right? Aww. Hello, good morning. Animal care level up. Uh, you need brushing. Let's pick these up. And give you guys some food. So, no need to water anything today. That's nice. Um, can we, um, can we now make us a nicer bed? I think I want to go see. Because the nicer bed also gives us an energy bonus. Let's, oh, we can make that now. That's nice. Um... There we go. I think I want to keep all of the other stuff we've got here. Put the bed here or here. Maybe here. Yeah. And um, we can no longer make the uh, bookshelf. Yeah, we want to make this, definitely. So, we need more clay bricks and stone bricks. Move that. We'll put it, like, in that corner. And uh, move that. It can go, like, um, I don't know, maybe over here something to sit on while I'm um, making beverages. So clay bricks and stone bricks. We can make four clay bricks. So we need a lot more clay. And probably also stone. Right? So, let's have a bit of a look around. The best place to go for clay and stone is obviously going to be the mine. Uh, hello? Drac? Hi? Some stone and clay over here, too. Yeah. 
Oh, right. You can get cold on a rainy day. I guess we had better go into the mine because at least then we'll be indoors out of the storm and rain. So yeah, let's go into... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go into the mine and pick up some clay and stone and coal. And possibly also some shellfish. I guess... When it comes to money, our next goal is probably the 2,000 that's needed for the extra uh, market stall. We did get the quest from Pearl to unlock the market stall. <laughs> Not that we can currently always fill the market tables at town square even um but um let's unlock the stall it'll be nice to have or when we once again have like an overflow of stuff to sell Once we get, um, I don't recall what the workbench is called, but it is the sort of workbench where you can, um, make the raw gems that you find into, like, a uh, processed, polished gems. Uh, once we get that... I think that'll help us make quite a bit more money. We'll be able to sell the polished gems. Because the further we get in the mine, I think the more of those raw gemstones we find. So there will be a point where the gemstones are going to be quite plentiful. And so the uh, gem polishing workbench is going to be very nice to have. And I think at that point it'll also be nice to have an extra, um, like market stall that we can sell our polished gems at. So I'm not quite sure when we unlock the gem polishing workbench thing, but um, it'll happen eventually. Maybe we have to reach like a certain mine level or something. We'll get back to actually trying to make progress in the mine um, at some point. Currently we just need more clay and stone. So it makes sense to just stick to the first levels. But eventually we'll get back to making progress. We don't really have any more cooked food on us, so 60-something clay and stone will have to do. Hopefully they will be enough. Let's go back home and find out.
it'll be nice to be able to make the loom. We'll then be able to make the raw cotton into cotton fabric. Oh, hello. That looks rare. Oh, come on. There we go. Dazzle fly. Let's pick all of these up too. Um, and up we go. And towards home. So can we actually jump to the, uh, like, um, up to the other building from here? I think that's pretty far. Maybe not. We don't really jump all that far. Oh well. We'll see about getting the recipe from, um, wherever it was up in a, in a difficult place to get to at some point. Very curious to see what it ends up being. Oh, we can't actually use that when we've got the net equipped. So yeah, that gives three bug juice. Looks like the bugs that or critters that are worth more when sold also give more products like um like you just saw three um bug juice or flutter dust so i think it'll be well worth it to uh, not sell the critters, but instead put them into the critter conservatory and get the stuff that they produce instead. Eventually, I I think we'll be able to like um gather us a decent storage of each kind of uh, of thing that the critters produce and then we'll be able to sell the extras but um for now i think at least most of the things we get out of our buck conservatory are going to go into our storage because they are needed for various kinds of crafted things and um i i want to have some in storage for that reason thorns and a recipe <laughs> violet woven drug Hmm, at some point I should go and check um, what was required for the uh, butterfly wallpaper that that one guy was selling. Let's see if we can get that recipe from, uh, from the ledge over there. We can. Wood plank path. All right. Nothing else here. More thorns and another recipe. 
a good fence. No recipes here, at least none that I can see. Firefly... I think we should probably be heading home. See if, um, if we can make that loom. Um, here we are. If we should always put all of the non-rare bugs into the conservatory or if we should save them for something. Hmm. Yeah, see, these sell for 24 each and usually the bugs or critters sell for like 10 each. So totally worth it to put them into the conservatory instead. Oh dear, almost bedtime. Let's fill these tables as best we can. Mm, we've got quite a few of that. These things I kind of want to save because we don't have very many of each. But I also want to fill this table. There, maybe? Let's see if we can catch a couple more critters before we get teleported into bed. Ah, uh, oh yeah, you can't use that when you have the net equipped. Oh well. Made almost 400. Let's see about the tea. Make some more of that. Mm. Now then, grab these and these. And water these. I think now we just need to let those flowers be. And then um, each day there is like a, some kind of a percent chance of uh, having them reproduce. So like um, getting a flower in between two grown flowers. So let's keep those flowers there and uh, hope for the best. Hope that we eventually get an orange flower and a pink one. Fill that up. And while we're here, get these berries and uh, also pet our farm animals. And 
and you need to be brushed too. Animal products. And food. Now, the cauliflowers, I think, are worth more than the, um, what you can make out of them with the, uh, cooking fire thing. So, instead of putting the cauliflowers there, I'm going to sell them as they are. But before we go anywhere, let's see. Aha, we can now make this. Very nice. Mm, I think I want to put it kind of in the, in the corner here. There we go. Perfect. And, um, we can make some cotton fabric. Three raw cotton per fabric. Plant fibers make rope. I wonder if it'll be worth it to make plant fibers into rope and then sell the rope. I can't remember how much... Um, each plant fiber sells for. Let's make a few bits of rope. And find out. Hmm... Anything no? Hmm, more clay. It would be nice to have the garden bench. So I guess we're going on a clay hunt. Again. Was it only silt here, or did we have clay too? I think that was only silt. And this kind of looks like it's only silt as well. So, maybe we have to go into the mine again. Put those away and um, these two. Cauliflowers sell for 25. I think it was 23 that you were able to get out of the grilled veggies or whatever the product was that you got from the um, cooking fire. 
Let's catch that crab. And that one too. And let's go get us some clay. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to get more stone and coal too. But we're mostly here for clay. And maybe we could also, while we're here, go and see if we can find any of those jumbles and see if they drop us any iron because we only need I think four more iron to be able to make another iron ingot and with two iron ingots we'll be able to upgrade a copper tool into an iron one Yeah, I think that's a decent enough plan. See if we can find any jumbles and maybe also in the process get us some more copper. We'll go to floor 4. There's copper already and a jumble. Nice. Iron. Ah, oh, no iron from that. And that was it for the jumbles over here. Let's get the copper. And there was a little bit here too. Like so. Let's go on to level 5. We don't have a seal here, so if we want to continue onward, we'll have to find the um, pressure plate that opens the door. No jumbles, really. I'm quite disappointed. I was looking forward to getting a bit more iron from here. There's some copper. Let's see if we can find that pressure plate. At the same time, we'll get some more, um, not coal, but, um, stone and clay. No pressure plates so far. And we are kind of running low on energy. Maybe we should just go home. We did only come here for clay and we did get quite a bit of clay. So, let's go home and build that garden bench.
Ooh, frog. I wonder if I should be saving these different colored frogs. The um, ordinary green ones? Probably not. But those different colored purple ones? I don't know. Oh, right. We need one more stone tile here. Oak logs for the uh, wooden path. And then... Let's build us a garden bench. So, we'll be able to make fertilizers. Oh, I guess we should be saving those sand dollars, corals, and ammonites. Maybe. It takes one cauliflower to make some quantity of seeds. I can't believe that it's one for one. That wouldn't make any sense. Maybe um, we should go get a few cauliflowers back into our inventory and make seeds. See how exactly it works. a few cauliflowers with other things on the tables here. Oh, right, we actually have empty spaces here too. really want to sell any of these other things. Hmm. We'll leave those spaces empty for now. Let's see about these cauliflower seeds. One makes three, so that'll be perfect. Let's catch that, um, actually, put that in there, and those as well. Mm. Let's go see the, um, cloth or fabric or whatever it was and rope there now we've got stuff to sell let's go fill up the rest of those spaces on the market tables. Mm. 
35. It took 10 plant fiber. Does one plant fiber sell for less than 3? Hmm. I'll have to see how much one plant fiber sells for. Fireflies. And snails. And a frog. Come on. <laughs> Didn't quite have time to catch the frog. 600 though we've got enough to buy the um trading stall now so maybe we'll do that in the next episode and we'll see what else we end up getting up to I would very much like to make the food prepping table and the um, the stone stove or whatever it was, cooking hearth. So we'll see if we can manage to make us a bit of a kitchen area here in the next episode as well with the food prepping table and the cooking hearth. That would be nice. For now though, thank you so much for watching this video and spending a little of your time with me here today. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.